Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you have a nagging feeling that some of the people who say that they're your friends don't really mean it? Perhaps you feel as if they don't really want the best for you or secretly want you out of their group, but just won't come out and say it. A lot of the time when you dislike someone, you won't dare tell them directly in fear of confrontation. So instead, you may just let your actions speak for you and hope they get the hint. So if you've been wondering if the red flags you've been seeing in some of your friends mean something serious, here are eight telltale signs that can help you figure it out. Number one, their body language towards you is closed and negative. Have you noticed nonverbal cues they send whenever you're together? As much as you try to keep your true feelings a secret, there are plenty of subconscious things you do with your body that speak volumes about how you really feel about the people you're with. Some examples to keep a close eye on include crossed arms and legs, minimal eye contact, physical distance, and using bags, pillows, desks, doors, and so on to hide behind while you're talking. Number two, they fake a smile around you. Do their smiles reach their eyes? Another telltale sign that someone doesn't like you as much as they're letting on is if they're constantly faking their smiles around you. Most of the time when people fake their smiles, their eyes don't crinkle and the rest of their face stays still while they do it. And while it can be difficult to tell if this is just because they're tired, shy, or feeling a little awkward, if this person is more than an acquaintance to you already and you notice they're still faking their smiles around you, it might be because they secretly dislike you. Number three, they keep your conversations short and impersonal. Think back on the last few times you've spoken to this person. Did they seem in a hurry to leave? Were their replies short and devoid of emotion? When people secretly dislike you, they'll most likely try to avoid you and cut your conversations short by either giving you very vague answers like, I'm fine or not much going on or it's all good, or rushing off with a flimsy excuse, an empty promise of the next time that never comes true. Number four, there's a distinct lack of physical touch. While it's certainly true that some people aren't as comfortable being touchy or physically affectionate around even their closest friends and loved ones, it's another thing entirely when they're comfortable doing it around everyone except you. The distinct lack of any kind of friendly physical touch, be it a hug, handshake, or pat on the back, is very telling that they do not feel comfortable letting you into their personal space. Number five, they don't make any plans with you. Can you remember the last time this particular person made plans with you or invited you somewhere? If the answer is never, then it's probably time to take a good look at your friendship with this person and ask yourself why. Do you invite them to places and events they just end up canceling or postponing indefinitely? Do they often blow you off for the next cooler, more exciting thing or exclude you from their plans with other friends? It might sting a little to admit it, but if so, there's a good chance it's because this person secretly dislikes you. Number six, they rarely reach out or check up on you. Similar to the last point, if the communication between you and this person is mostly one-sided, then it's a red flag already. Whether it's leaving you on red, not bothering to return your calls, or never checking up on you every now and then to make sure you're okay and see how you're doing, all of these behaviors show indifference, apathy, and a definite lack of concern, usually reserved for the people we don't like. Number seven, they tend to let you down and break their promises. As cliche as it might sound, a common adage you hear in family and couples therapy is, if we don't have trust, we don't have anything. Mutual trust is really the foundation for every healthy and lasting relationship. So if someone is constantly letting you down, breaking their promises, and not being there when you need them to be, and as painful as it might be to admit. All of these signs are telling you that this person does not respect you nor care about your feelings. And number eight, they don't listen to your opinions. Last, but certainly not least, if someone can't be bothered to listen to what you have to say, such as when they make decisions that affect you without asking you first or insist on doing something you've made very clear you don't agree with, it's safe to say that this person is probably harboring some ill will against you. This can manifest in other little passive aggressive ways too, like never asking you what you feel like doing or always being on their phone while you're talking. All these little things show that this person is only pretending to like you and that they don't actually value or respect your opinion. Is there someone you think who secretly dislikes you? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video.
The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.